Hello everybody and welcome to one of our information videos. Today we're focusing on moss, which is our November product of the month. So moss. It's so popular at this time of the year. So many applications for it, creating Christmas moss wreaths, Japanese gardens, terrariums, living walls. That's just a few. The list goes on. It's available in fresh, dried and preserved. Today we're going to focus on the fresh. So just to give you a little idea about moss. Mosses are a small flowerless plant that typically form in dense green clumps or mats, often in damp or shady locations. They rely on wind to disperse their spores for reproduction. Traditional uses of moss include insulation because it has the ability to absorb up to 20 times its weight. It's been used in all sorts of applications such as wound dressings for sanitary protection. It is also thought to have antibacterial properties so therefore less irritant to allergy sufferers. Amazingly, companies such as Green City Solutions are creating innovative ways to introduce moss into cities to reduce air pollution. In 2018, a vertical installation of moss known as City Tree was installed in London. It also doubles as a bench. It is said to absorb as much pollution as 275 trees in 1% of the space. This bench has also been introduced in other big cities in Europe and Asia. So the moss acts as a filter, it filters out particulate matter, absorbs CO2 and removes soot, dirt and other pollutants. So now I'm going to introduce some of the fresh moss that is available that you can buy on our website. I'm going to start with carpet moss. So this is carpet moss. It normally comes in one of these polystyrene containers. The size is usually 40 by 30 by 13 centimetres and it has roughly three to four layers of moss. What you will find, however, is the lower layer is not as pristine as the top layer. The reason for that is, as you can appreciate, in transit, all the debris is going to filter through. So the debris tends to land on the base layer. So therefore, it's not going to be as green and as pristine as the one on the top. So basically carpet moss is, as the name would suggest really, it is literally, let me show you, I can pull some over here, like a carpet, almost a sheet of moss. If you can imagine um, turf when you're laying grass in the garden, it's almost like that. Okay, so if you want to wrap moss around something, or literally make a carpet or replicate something that looks like grass, then this is the one you need. Okay, so lovely and pristine and green on one side, and then on the back, as you can see, it's very damp and very textured. All right, so that's carpet moss. Pop him back. Next, I'm going to concentrate on cushion moss also known as bun moss. Again, these normally come in a tray. This one actually comes in a plastic one on this occasion. The size of the box is approximately 39 by 30 by 10 centimetres. And again, you usually get two layers. So I'm just going to move one layer. Usually what happens is it's packed back to back. So the pristine layer on the bottom layer is packed downwards and then the top layer is packed on top. So theoretically, it doesn't damage any of the nice green surface. This is quite cute because it comes in little clumps. So as the name would suggest, bun or little cushions. It normally comes in varying sizes. I've taken some out of this particular tray just so you can see what I mean. For example, this piece of bun moss is huge. And then we've got another one that's quite tiny. So as you can see, layering those up in a decoration is going to give fantastic texture. So that's our bond moss or cushion moss. Okay, just pop that back. 
Now we move on to natural English moss. This comes in a four to seven kilogram bag. The weight differential is according to the moisture content. So obviously the more moisture content, the heavier the bag. Bag is about 68 by 46 by 18 centimeters. Now this is actually raked. It's harvested under license locally. Um, and there is a maintenance program carried out by agents of the Forestry Commission just to check everything's done in accordance. Okay, so this is our natural English, as I said, raked, so it's a lot looser, a lot easier to work with, easy to tease, and perfect for mossing Christmas wreaths. Now we're going to go on to the English peat moss. Now this is actually lifted as opposed to raked. Um, and as the name would suggest, because it's, it's heavily peat based, perfect as a planting medium. That comes in a four and a quarter kilogram bag, and it's a clear bag that that will arrive in. Then next we have the natural reindeer moss. Uh, this is an 850 gram bag, absolutely beautiful and springy. So I would suggest that that's more appropriate for using in decorative design. And then finally, we have the Tillandsia moss. You might know it as Spanish moss. And as you can see how beautiful that is. Um, comes tied with a wire. So you can literally pop that into an arrangement. Fantastic for trailing down arrangements, creating a real corporate or a designer style arrangement. So I hope you've enjoyed our introduction into fresh mosses. I hope it's inspired you to get creative. Do go to our YouTube channel for lots of how-to guides on what you can do with moss, how you can create some fantastic installations, you can create some amazing arrangements. And don't forget, moss lasts quite a long while, so they do have a good shelf life. So keep watching. Thank you for watching us today, and we look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Bye for now.